our vaccination rate here in Massachusetts is one of the highest in the country, we're seeing a spike in cases with the outbreak in Provincetown. Starting today, there is an indoor mask mandate in P-Town that health officials hope will stop the spread. More than 550 COVID cases have now been linked to the cluster in Provincetown. And today, once again, people are required to mask up as they head inside shops and restaurants. WBZ's Louisa Moeller takes a closer look. At indoor bars, restaurants, dance floors, and performance venues, masks are now required in Provincetown, even as the town manager says the COVID case count is plateauing. A big blinking sign now greets drivers headed into Provincetown. Indoor mask mandate, be safe. And tourists still mill down Commercial Street, many with mouths and noses covered. We think that with a mask mandate, we will see the test positivity rate go down at a faster rate. Town manager Alex Moore says it's an emergency measure to extinguish a COVID outbreak that started July 1st and now stands at 551 cases, roughly three quarters of which occurred in fully vaccinated people. That includes 53 samples, which the Department of Public Health says tested positive for the highly contagious Delta variant. We peaked at about 15% positivity rate of our daily tests on July 15th. Yesterday's testing showed us we're down to 7%. <laughs> That means masks are required for choosing taffy, and businesses say it's taking a toll. From July 4th, it was really busy. Then after that, it's been fewer people. The streets are less people out there. Masks even passed out to ferrygoers heading to P-Town this morning. You know, I think maybe we went forward a little too fast. The town's plan is to remove the mask mandate once the positivity rate dips below 3%. A good move for now, says Tufts Medical Center epidemiologist Dr. Shira Duran. But I, like I said, I don't think it's wrong because this is a growing public health threat to try to use all of the tools in the tool belt. But she notes that vaccines are more effective and would have helped the third of the cluster that is not vaccinated. Masks certainly don't work as well as vaccination. The town manager says among the cluster, only three people were hospitalized, and the only person who remains in the hospital is unvaccinated. In Provincetown, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Louisa, thank you.